Welcome back to The Drop, I'm Meg Scoop. And I'm to hear more. And if you can't tell by this ridiculous getup, we are celebrating this past weekend because Serena Williams won Wimbledon for the 22nd time. Get it, girl! <laughs> Serena defeated Angelique Kerber from Germany. Now this is really good because Serena also ties Steffi Graf for the most Wimbledon titles ever won in professional tennis. Again, this makes Serena the highest grossing female athlete. Very well deserved. Right, right. Very, very well deserved. And I think she's still single. <laughs> well, here's the question though. She's won 22 times. What do you think, like, when is the ending time? When do you retire from your sport? Never. You keep being great for as long as you can. It's like Kevin Hart. Like somebody may be able to do as many shows as, as many places as he has, but they'll never get another tennis shoe. Another comedian will never get another tennis shoe. You just keep going. Keep right. setting that bar high. Okay. And to keep the wins rolling in, Serena, along with her sister Venus, won their sixth Wimbledon doubles championship later that day, which makes their 14th Grand Slam as a pair. <laughs> And of course you know the stars were out in full effect. You had Rashida Jones, yeah. Bradley Cooper, Ellen DeGeneres yeah. was there, and then of course we had Jay-Z and Beyonce. And it looks like Beyonce had a hard time following the match. <laughs> she didn't even realize the match was over. She didn't. Everybody else stood up, Beyonce was like, oh, oh, we oh, standing, we standing, oh, we standing. Oh, oh, she won? Oh, she, oh, she won, yes! Hey. Yeah, girl, woo! What are you talking about? Last time you prepared, he's standing with Serena Angels. We thought it was a quick in the beginning. Now, if you remember, Beyonce and Serena are really good friends. Serena was actually in her sorry video, yo, twerking. Hey. She twerked. She did really good. Yes, she did really good. And in she that 7-Eleven, too. The 7-Eleven parody. And in other sports news, Tim Duncan of the San Antonio Spurs has now announced that he will be retiring after his 19th season Man. with the NBA. That's yeah, amazing that's that he was able to go 19. We lost Kobe and Tim Duncan. Say no. <laughs> Okay. So guys, we want to hear from you. When is an appropriate time to retire as an athlete? Should you play until you can't go anymore? Or should you go out on top? Put it in the comments below. And you know, oh my gosh. And you know what time it is? It's, it's the comment of the day. day. Hey, hey, hey. I can't deal with you. It comes from our episode last week about the five police officers that were shot in Dallas. And it's from Gabriel Ballard. He says, I should not have to be a scared young black male in America. We understand and we see you, fam. We see you, fam. But you should be afraid of this bucket. Okay. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to All Deaf Digital. I'm Meg Scoop. And I'm to hear more. We'll see you tomorrow on The Drop. This is not a tennis racket. Oh, my God.